nice. Filmed on a soundstage at Shovelware Studios Hollywood and live in front of a studio audience, it's time for Shovelware's Brain Games! Cynical at heart, but still putting on a great big smile, it's your host, the Dancing Banana! Eyes on the prizes. Nice. What comic is featured on the back of the comic strip prize? Nice. Eyes on the prizes. <laughs> What is the slogan of Shovelware's Dinosaur Place, Shovelware Studios' dinosaur-themed theme park, and Dino Petting Zoo? Trains, planes, and automobiles. I just love my airship. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I have my very own private dirigible. It's the only way to fly. Nice. Aside from mine, which is totally real and not something I just made up for this question to seem like I have a richer personal life than I actually do, how many blimps are there out there in the world total? Nope. Are you stupid or something? Hey, what happened? <laughs> Me. Help me.
Garden variety. A dancing hot dog. Hey, guy, get out of there. We're trying to do a show. Nani? Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? But that's a guy. It's just a man and a live being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character? Pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's got to be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing hot dog again. What are you still doing here? Banana nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. A dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. It's the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one-to-one, -one, and I am just not getting it. Right? Banana nephew? Subscribe. Is that your name? The middle nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. This dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. There's a house down the block that has, I don't know, probably upwards of 50 garden gnomes in their yard. 50? I mean, I'd like to think that three or four would be pushing it. I mean, maybe one or two, okay, you need a friend for the other one. But those dudes are just everywhere. Now, they have to represent something. Right? What do garden gnomes represent? This is big brain time. Yes! 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 Eyes on the prizes. <laughs> what chain of grocery stores could you win round trip travel compensation to? Eyes on the prizes. A certain company manufactures do-it-yourself obby kits, consisting of a number of lava bars and lava checkers for anyone to place down and make their own obbies. I even made my own obby with them. You should play it. Anyway, what is the name of this company? No way! Hey, what happened? Eyes on the 
Eyes on the prizes. <laughs> Who notarized the certificate of education? The document that signifies you were exposed to educational content in Shovelware's Brain Game. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Amazing space. <laughs> You know, I just learned the other day that they don't consider Pluto a planet anymore. Can you believe that? All those big orbs in our solar system and suddenly, oh, this one doesn't count. Ah, I'm seriously ticked off here, man. Like, if it's not a planet, then what the heck is it? Bogey. Memorable events. Okay, this is gonna sound stupid, so bear with me. So, July 4th, right? The 4th of July, the United States holiday? I get so caught up in the fireworks and the sparklers and the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air. <laughs> I've forgotten what the holiday is about. I remember some kind of document being signed back in, I don't know, what was it, 1776 or whatever? But I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Help a guy out, would you? This glossy 8x10 headshot of Forty the Smart Boy. Not only that, but it's signed by Forty himself, one of Canada's most famous and recognizable celebrities. Known for his work portraying the iconic mascot character Bordy the Smart Board at various trade shows and other events, Bordy has been voted Tech Magazine's smartiest board alive for three consecutive years in a row. Perfect for the ultimate Bordy fan or any opportunistic internet resellers. Here's our Shovelware's Spring Game Pan Champion! Brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs, right? Thank you.